Yeah, pretty terrifying, Edie. Well, the siblings who were inside that burning Tesla tell me that they are just still trying to process what happened, this harrowing experience that they went through. It's been five days since their car burst into flames here along Highway 50, but they still don't know exactly what happened. We got up. Oh, oh my God. Fierce flames. Really oh my God. Erupt from this Tesla as black smoke billows into the air. Emotions run high for those who were inside the car just moments earlier. We could have died in that moment. Sunit Mayal and her brother Dilpreet say they were driving their family Tesla Saturday afternoon when their trip took a terrible turn. The first thing that happened was a loud popping sound. They pulled over on Highway 50 near Sunrise Boulevard and saw some flames. They say they barely made it out alive before the car exploded. I was really scared. I was panicking a lot. I mean, just like reliving it, I'm getting emotional right now, but um, it was really scary. It was like, I mean, you, you, so many thoughts are going through your head. One of those thoughts was about their loved ones. If one of my parents are in that car instead of us, we share the car, you know, we might not be as quick. And it was a matter of two, three seconds. Fire crews say they used around 6,000 gallons of water to extinguish the flames from the electric car compared to the 700 gallons a fully involved regular gas car takes. Sacramento Metro Fire says the fire started in the battery compartment. Thinking about what happened on this stretch of US 50, what the siblings say they really want is answers about why this happened. We did reach out to Tesla We've uh, tried to be in contact with them multiple times. The Mayals say their car was serviced just a few weeks ago and no warnings popped up. They're still waiting to learn the cause of the fire. All we're asking for is just a little diagnostic or report. This is what their Tesla looks like now, burnt and broken. As the siblings continue to process their narrow escape, they say they're blessed to still be breathing. We got lucky. We got really, really lucky. Now, I've tried contacting Tesla to learn more about what might have caused this fire, but I've not been able to reach them. Meanwhile, the siblings tell me they have filed a claim with their car insurance to see how much the damage will cost. Reporting live in Sacramento County tonight, Orcomana, KCRA 3 News.